guys, welcome back to BZB Express TV. My name is Chris and today we're going to be going over our new video switcher multi-viewer known as the PGM FVS61. This guy's uh, fully equipped, ready to shoot any production that you need to do up to six cameras. So let's take a look at what we got going and how it's going to work. All right, so as you can see here um, on our big screen behind us, we have what's called the program output going on. Again, this has six uh, inputs, four being SDI, two being HDMI. If you have a uh, situation where you only have HDMI cameras, you can always use an adapter uh, from SDI to HDMI or vice versa. Um, as well, we have two outputs for program output. That means the final cut version, what's gonna be sent to your uh, software platform, whatever you may be using. Uh, in our case today, we'll be using OBS Studios. Uh, also has two multi-view outputs. Essentially, the multi-view outputs are for scene selection, so you can see which camera angles you're looking at, uh, what's showing up on the cameras, so you can select them prior to actually sending them to your program output. So as you can see, we have our SDI connection, as I mentioned, to the multi-viewer here, um, so I can see all the different camera angles. Nice little shortcut, and then the other SDI program out is going to my capture device. That way I can run my HDMI output to my uh, big screen here as far as the program final cut. Our other HDMI multi-view output is going to our other TV over here in the corner. So depending on what your situation is, what you have for displays, obviously most displays do not have SDI inputs unless it's a professional commercial grade display. Therefore, I have this little monitor here which saves me a lot of time and headaches and it's right in front of me and I can see what's going on. Um, obviously, you have your video inputs, you also have your audio inputs. We got left and right inputs and outputs as well as 3.5 millimeter jacks for mixing in your audio, whether it's coming from a mixer, an iPod, um, whatever sound little machine you are using. Now, there are different ways of transition uh, from preview to program as well as uh, switching angles on program. Currently, this would be our HDMI input number six that we're using. And we can switch over to five very simply here. We can switch over to our SDI inputs. Uh, simple as pressing a button to change your angles. Um, as far as preview, we can look at our preview window under our multi-view monitor over here, or as I'm kind of looking at right here is my little monitor I explained a few seconds ago. Gives me an idea of what I'm about to transition to. This uh, device is also equipped with a T-bar. Uh, essentially, for those of you who are not familiar, it allows you to transition by just swapping this T-bar from your camera one to your camera two, or you could select your camera five um, to two. Essentially, you decide which angle you want to go to, whether it's camera one uh, to camera four, camera two to camera three, either way, you have all your buttons, your programs, your previews here to select that option. Uh, this guy also has a cool effect. It's got two different ways of doing effects. You have what's called uh, your wipe effect. So when you use this T-bar, you can go bottom to top, top to bottom, left to right and right to left so pretty cool little uh deal there as well as a mixing ability meaning that if you want to transition slowly using two images simultaneously even creating a cool little illusion you can do that as you can see here our cameras are blending that's for a nice smooth transition um, there's also cut scenes and you can switch auto so pretty cool guy here, lots of little uh, neat features. Another cool functionality with this is picture in picture. So if you select a picture in picture up here, let's go one, two. And as you can see in the top left corner, I was able to transition from our camera one to our camera two and removing the picture in picture. Uh, really nice to have a little effect like that for uh, for your own monitoring or for sometimes you want to put maybe a choir up there, for instance, in a house of worship, and your main show is right here in the primary window. Um, this thing is also equipped with a menu. It basically, it's an on-screen menu that allows you to go in and switch uh, the type of audio you're putting in, whether the format or whether it is um, the inputs that you choose to assign, as well as positioning. You have your V positioning, your A positioning, and you can also set resolutions in this guy. So if you need to do 1080p at 25 hertz, at 30 hertz, or at 60 hertz, you can change this here. And your audio mode as well. 
So pretty cool little unit here. As you can see, everything's set up really nice. It's convenient. I got my joystick controller in front of me, which enables me to basically control my um, camera here. I can move it around. And so I've set up four cameras with my joystick, one through four. Uh, basically point at it before I select it. So if I have scene one and I don't like the camera and I'm on uh, say camera number two, I can switch over um, that angle of that camera on scene one, put it where I want it, and then I can just switch right back to it. Uh, pretty convenient function, very simple to use. Uh, this guy is very robust, compact, easy to carry. It even comes with a cool carrying case. Um, playing 1080p at 60 hertz, you really can't go wrong with this. Uh, pretty much anyone can use it. Just a little time on a manual, check out our video. It'll give you an introduction to how to connect everything, where everything goes, and uh, it's as simple as that, guys. So again, give us a call here at BZB Gear, BZB Express, if you have any concerns, issues, or questions about our BGM FVS 61. We're always here to help. We've got Steve in tech support department. Um, Chris here, again, feel free to give me a call by name if you got any questions or are interested in a unit. Uh, thanks again. Hope to see you next time at BZB Express TV. Please hit that subscribe and that like button. It's always much appreciated and leave some feedback for us. It's always good for us to get an idea of what our next video should be. Uh, until next time, have a good one guys. Thanks.